right guys down here we're set up again guy behind us got my little watchdog as you can see we're bundled up it's pretty chilly it's like 51 it's supposed to get in the 60s today but we'll see monkey had to take her mom to the doctor so she'll be back out later uh, I don't know if I'll still be here or not but uh, I thought I'd come down and try it. I was getting ready. I just set up. I, I mean, it was cold, windy, and I was getting ready to. I was getting ready to leave, and then this guy pulled in, and then another guy pulled in. So we're going to try to try to sell some stuff. So stay tuned for more. It's 3:20. I got tore down. I think we started tearing down about two. I get home, my phone's going off. As soon as I pull in the driveway, it's monkey. You got anything in the truck, get it out because mom and dad's getting their truck. Okay. So her mom comes to get the truck. Now we're going to go get her mom. Well, we're going to give her a jump because the truck, I guess, the battery slammed in. Now the battery has been weak. It does have a dead cell, but I've never had it go slam dead. So I don't know what's going on there. So that's what we're doing now. And I made $2.75 at the sale. Monkey's rolling her eyes. That's better than nothing. No comment. What? That's true. Better than nothing. No comment. Like going to do this. No comment. Yeah, well, there goes our $2.75. Yeah, in the gas. <laughs> in the gas. All right. Yeah, if anything exciting happens, we'll, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, guys, we are here. There she is, sitting in the truck. My mother doesn't listen to me. What? My mother doesn't listen to me. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, it's funny you said, is this... Is this karma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I call karma. Get her pop the hood. No, she can't do that. I'll have to do it. Right. <laughs> Let me get the hood popped up here. Hold on just a sec. So what are you doing, babe? What do you do? What? What? Are you, what? What are you because I want the world to know what my parents put me through. <laughs> Poor girl. Jump, so, I'm jump starting this truck. Yeah? Yeah, it's got a bad battery. I'm putting a quart low in. Or, <laughs> put some oil in. It was only a quart low, but that gauge does that because of cluster. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't watch your video. Yeah? Yeah. Which one? Oh, he's watched all kinds of them. Hey, was he? The abandoned houses ones? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, the food? Oh, the food. Was he? Well, because I'm in a lot of them. And we, we joke around. We have a good time together, don't we, babe? Yeah. yeah. Try it, Mom. Try it now. Uh -oh. That's weird. It's not doing anything. Put the charge into it. Lights on. Get out, but I'm stuck. What did I do wrong? She just wasn't turning it all the way. You didn't turn it all the way. <laughs> and you think you can drive? Really? Oh my god, Mom. <laughs> I suggest you get home and park this thing and, and don't turn it off until you get there. 
to turn it hard. It's a truck. It's not it's not a, a car. You have to turn it real hard. I might be sitting in it when you come back again if I can't get my seatbelt off. <laughs> I can't get her seatbelt off. <laughs> Here. Hey, so we got her going. I don't know if you heard or not, but what was the problem, Mom? She wasn't turning <laughs> the ignition on. She was just turning it on where you hear she the bells and Yeah, whistles. she wasn't and, cranking it. Yeah. She was just turned it on and that was it yeah she her, oh, man that's... her arm is very weak because it's her right arm that she broke so for her i don't think she has the strength to turn it on then she couldn't get the seat belt off because you have to push the button in it's a push and it's a truck it's a heavy duty truck yeah Those but she wasn't hard. turning that all the way heavy duty <laughs> truck ain't got nothing to do with the seat belt <laughs> she can't push the button now she's gonna get home and so she's weak. not gonna be able to get out of the damn truck <laughs> no but i told her to call her neighbor to, so the neighbor could come and get her and she's 90 years old but she was just turning the key <laughs> on and going it ain't doing nothing <laughs> you got it actually physically do something to get something <laughs> oh done. my god all right so we're this is my vlogging day i guess we're heading yep. back home yeah which i just got done making hamburgers just getting ready to get them out of the damn frying pan and <laughs> my mother called monkey was so pissed off. i ain't helping him no more never again nope i don't care what happens i ain't helping him i said yeah right 10 minutes later well, here we go. I gotta go help her. Battery's dead and ain't doing nothing. <laughs> well, it won't if you don't turn the key over. I gotta turn the key. All right. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You're good. All right. Uh, we'll be back. All right, so what are you doing? I'm back to save my mother again. Okay, what's wrong? She has a flat tire. She has a flat tire. We was almost home, so we had to run. I just wanted to make sure I had a good jack and everything and four-way. So we was almost home. We picked up Bruno, grabbed a quick sandwich. Now we're heading back out to go see. We she don't even know if there's a spare. I don't I don't know if it's got a spare in it or not, so we're going to, I don't know, we're going to find out, but, you know, something's telling them they're not supposed to have that truck. Right, Mama? That's right. So, I don't know, because they, they shouldn't be driving, for, well, he can't drive, she shouldn't be driving at all. No. Nope. Because she can't see, and it's getting dark. Yeah. Now we're going to have to follow her all the way to the house. Which is an hour away, and then an hour back, and then probably three hours there. <laughs> All right, so I'll kick you back on when we get to the truck. <laughs> so we're on the search for her mom. <laughs> the only thing we know is it's 32nd. It's a side street. And she don't have a spare? She don't know. Okay, so we don't know if she's got a spare. Our spare will not fit. So we're on the search for Granny. We're we're Granny searching. <laughs> granny searching. <laughs> All I know is it's a side street, thirty second. Thirty second, but you didn't pass Marion Oaks. You don't remember the fountain? There's Marion Oaks right there. Well, we're at Marion Oaks. And we looked down every road. I did not see you. And then she was asking her, did you pass this light here? And I'm like, she don't know where the fuck we're at. <laughs> Give me the address of the street. It's 32nd what? Avenue. Avenue. 32nd. <laughs> Southwest 32nd Avenue. Okay. She's on the 
fine with her right now. I'm trying to find out where mom is. <laughs> There's 34, so she should be on one of these streets right here coming up. So it's either the next one or the one right after that. So we're close. Slow down. There it is. Oh, I can't. There it is. Yes, I you can. can. I had a car right on my ass. I told you slow down. I, they were right on my butt. Yeah, I, saw, yeah, I right, had somebody on my ass. So you can I drive. He was right up your ass. Yeah, he was, too. So. That was that blue car? Yep. Yeah. Yep, I saw him. <laughs> So I'm going to turn around and come back. Now I know where you are. Well, I told you start Well, I hope you're going to stay down. there. Start slowing down and then... All right, I said I'll it should there. be the next one. Okay, bye. Bye. So anyway, now we got to do a U-turn. And I don't know if she's got a spare. If she don't, I don't know what we're going to do. So your dad don't know? He thinks that there isn't one. There isn't one. Because he had told her a while ago that they needed a new new spare tire. Yeah. Anyway, we just passed her. Yeah, but at least I know where she is now. That's why I kept telling you, slow down, it's coming up. She's close. Yeah. No spare. Hmm. Well, if there ain't one up underneath the truck, I know there's not one in the bed. Mm -mm. We'll have to go to Walmart and get one. I'll call first. We'll have to go to Walmart, get one, bring it back, and all that bullshit. Yep. So I'm going to be doing this dark time. Yep. All because they didn't want to listen to me. Well, that's neither here nor there now. Yeah. It's this one, right? Yes. There she is, right there. There's Granny. We found Granny, the elusive Granny. I'll get in front. You're going to have to get in front. There's not enough room there for me with the drink. Well, let's go check this tire. Bruno, you stay still. You need to get off the road a little more. I didn't want to run over that jug that I just ran over. Well, Bruno, stay. Bruno. Stay. stay. Alright. He's not wanting to listen. Alright, let's see what we got. Holy shit. She shredded that. She was right. She said it was shredded. And it is. So she run it. Run it for a while like that. Okay. There is no tire up there. And no spare. Fuck me. Huh? No spare. And ours will not fit. Alright. Well, let me get back with you. We're back at the truck, and this is the tire. Nice. So, we're going to get it off. I called Walmart, and they have a, they have a tire. So, we're going to take it down, and hopefully get a new tire. And get her home. You okay? Well, at least she got off a side road here because that road over there is really busy. So. And she's in the truck. Just sitting there. Well, stay tuned. I might have to help. Alright, so I'm sitting here in her mom and dad's truck. I got the tire off, I had to pour it down into the, 
into this ravine so I could get it level because uh, you know so the truck wouldn't roll once that wheel come up in the air so I put the tire in the back of our truck and they went up to Walmart to get one they've been gone for about an hour but she called and the first thing the guy said was we're not taking any more work tonight what the fuck are you talking about it was like what five o'clock anyway so I got my light on here I'll show you how dark it is but there's the traffic right over there the road so that's what I'm doing waiting on them to get back so I can get this tire put on them we gotta follow her mom to the house to their her house before we can go back home so still got a ways to go man I don't even, uh, the time I, I don't even know, I, I don't even know what time it is, man. Oh, I'm just getting tired. Oh, well. So, that's what's going on, just sitting here waiting. Okay, so we got her going. It was over here to the left of us. I can't show you because, well, Bruno's fat head's in the way and it's dark, but it was right over there. Here, let me turn the light on. I had it. Sitting right down in, well, you still can't see it, but I had it sitting down in there, and uh, so we got it on there. They got a new tire, I guess. The guys were assholes. The um, here, let me turn you around here. The uh, the shop part don't close till seven, right? Where you get your tires done and. I guess they, they, they wasn't going to do it. And then they asked her, well, they, was, they wasn't going to put it in the back of the truck for her. And then one fucking asshole, some stupid, this is Walmart, guys. Some stupid fucking asshole asked her how much air you want in it. All of it. Fucking idiots. So I'm going to try to get a hold of the district or something. I'm going to turn that fucking store in. That's bullshit. It was 5.30 when she got there, and the shop don't close till 7. That's fucked up, dudes. Fucking Walmart. Yes, Walmart. All right, get in the back, Bruno. Mom's coming. All right. Okay, guys, we are back at the house. It is about 12 minutes after 9. Uh, so, I call Walmart, right? It took me 47 minutes to get a hold of somebody. Ended up being about 57 minutes by the time I got a hold of the assistant manager who was trying to get this information from me and then uh, we got an argument because he kind of sounded like uh, he didn't want to do anything. He said, well, I'll take the information and we'll do our own investigation. We'll go over the cameras and all this. And I was like, really, that's all you're going to do, you know? So I. He says, well, you know, I, I need the work order, I need all this, I need to know who it was. I'm like, you're the manager, you, you can't check, you know. I mean, the fucking idiot asked how much air you want in this tire. That's stupid. Well, he says, you know, we'll roll back the cameras. And I said, well, you know, does your cameras have audio? Well, you know, that's really no concern of yours. I said, what's well, no concern? Because I told him the whole story. I said, it's really no concern of your service tech wanting to know who's going to change that fucking tire that's none of their business you know if i was if i if i was there i would have i would have wigged out because i would have flat told them look you know what just revert they probably never would ask because i'm a guy but they asked her you know well who's, if we do change that tire tonight who's going to put it on for you i if i was her i would have said the same way it came off only reverse procedure you know that's bullshit and yeah, I told him he's being recorded, and he got all snotty. That's unlawful, and, you know, have a good day, bye, and he hung up on me. This after, like, 15 minutes of arguing with him about policies. Well, it doesn't matter, because he, 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 he was like, well, what do you want us to do? I said, well, you know, you already told me your policy, you can't fire the guy. So, so you know, that that's what I want you to do. I don't think he needs to be working there. If you don't know... How much air pressure to put in a tire or how to read the side of a tire because he kept saying well you know maybe they'll put him back in training 
you shouldn't have to go through training if you're working in a tire center to put air in tires. I, I mean, you, you should have known that from the get-go, number one. And, you know, number two, it's like your policies don't supersede the safety laws in the state of Florida. You know, well, yeah, that's true. But then later on, you know, he was like, well, I never said that. I said, well, you even agreed to policies because he said the policy doesn't care about the customer, doesn't care what I say, what the managers say, because he was assistant manager. It's all about the policies, what the policies say. That's when I said, you know, the, the policies don't supersede the laws in the state of Florida. You, you know, they can't just go, well, our policy says this, and the state of Florida go, oh, well, in that case, you're not breaking the law. Bullshit. The number one policy of anything is to follow the laws. So anyway, so I got to go down there tomorrow and talk to another manager and all this bullshit and I'll get to run around there. They want to roll the cameras back like they, I said, what, you think we're lying about this, you know? Well, you know, it's not up to me to believe anybody. And he didn't know, had no idea who was working or nothing. You know, it took me almost an hour to actually get a hold of somebody. Fucking Walmart sucks. You know, I, you know, if it was if it wasn't, you know, five o'clock, you know, they, I would have had him go somewhere else and get that damn tire, because I fucking hate Walmart. I hate the way they do things. It's bullshit. You know, I mean, if you, if they look on your door on the sticker, and if that ain't the size of the tire you want, they're not allowed to put it on because it's against the law. But it ain't against the law to underinflate a tire. Yes, it is. Yes, it is against the law. I mean, you know. It's not up to the customer how much air you put in a tire. You put what the manufacturer says to put in that size tire. I know one time, because I, I had changed the door on something on a car that I owned. I had changed the door while the sticker came off of a car that had 14-inch tires. And, I, you know, the car I put it on had 15s. And they're like, well, we can't save 15-inch tires for this car because that door sticker says it takes 14s i said let me see you put a 14 inch tire on this on this wheel i couldn't get them they said well we can sell you the tires and you can take them somewhere else and have them done fuck you you know i said this door's been changed that's not you know that's not the right sticker for this car you know they didn't want to hear it you know well we ain't allowed to do that again policies policies but anyway we're back home now thanks for hanging out with us today appreciate it and um we'll chat at you guys soon so you know i'll let you know what happens as soon as i find out anything but i'm also going to leave a review i'm also going to try to get in touch with headquarters i'm going to send them email after email after email until i hear something because that is not right a 72 year old woman should not have to worry about going down the road and wonder is this tire over inflated is it going to blow out is it under inflated is it going to go flat again he, it was like he didn't care if she was 72. He didn't care that it was nighttime. He didn't care that the truck sitting on, you know, Route 484, which is is a, is a highway, you know? Who? What the fuck? They don't care, you know? They don't want to answer their phones. It's ridiculous. And if you guys are watching and you're around this area, I'll tell you where it was. Uh, uh, the Walmart Supercenter, 200 and 484, right there at 200 and 484. So, you know, stay away from that place. Just stay the hell away from it because they suck. Any any auto, any auto stuff you need done, don't take it to Walmart. Don't take it to a department store to do that. You know, just pay a little extra if you have to. Have, have a mechanic, a good, reputable mechanic do your car work. Okay? So, all right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Monkey's on the phone with their aunt. So... We're going to say see you later. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.